Well, it's Saturday morning at the East Beach Fair. It's a little after nine, maybe, just setting up. I mean, I just set up. You see there's uh, some people. The best of it. Second best of it. Bowser. Another Bowser. I'm going down that way in a little while. They got me set up under here today. For some reason, they had more people, extra vendors coming that needed the space. So I'm sitting up under here with the big wigs in the headquarters. And I just had a lady walk up with a whole bag of knives. Check these babies out. Heckles, a whole family of them. Nice German heckles. I ain't sure if this one's a heckle. Yeah, it's a whole family of them. Pretty cool. Action already. It's a crack of dawn. I can't tell if this thing's on or not. Yeah, it's on. I got two pocket knives. One's a Gerber and one's a Chinese job. But, look at this. And I got two shuns. This fine little shun. Then I got a big daddy shun. Terrible, terrible microchips. I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not. This little up in the front. Terrible, I'm talking about bad. I mean, the little one is might be worse than the big one. I'm not even sure you can see this with this camera. But we'll get them fixed up. Stand by. Lady said it was a handmade Japanese cleaver. She knew the actual maker. Laminated. You can see it. I hope you can see it. Laminated together. Nice cleaver. Wicked edge. This might be the second hardest knife I ever sharpened. Or blade, I should say. But I've got her finally finished. Well, not finished, but you know, just about finished. God, I don't know what it is, but that's some tough, tough steel right now. Finally, it's finished. But boy, is she ever sharp. I don't know what kind of steel that is in that knife. I mean, cleaver, but great Google move. Well, I'm headed home, 12.34. I got to take the lady to the house, I mean to the airport at 3.30, I think. She's flying to New York to see the grandbaby for two days or three days. Then I'm going straight to the cave. Cave. cave Caveonomics. A lot of nice gold found yesterday. My buddy, Doc Beaver. We found the coolest ring so far of 2014. 14K old 1932. 1932 class ring from MIT. Got a big beaver right on the front of it. And his name is Doc Beaver. How about that? That's pretty unique, ain't it? 1932. That's a nice ticket, too. I'll show you some pictures of it. For y'all that travel on the uh, treasure net, it's already on the treasure net on the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the finds of today. I don't know if he put it on the treasure depot or not, but I know it's on the treasure net. I saw it. Right where I left from Wednesday. Exact spot. 
And I told you he found four rings the day I was at. Three silver rings and a junker and two chains. That's a little hot spot. And then my buddy Stan, he was at Nada yesterday, him and the guru. And this east winds had put some cuts on the beach. Damn, Stan didn't find a 14K ring and an 18-carat pendant. And I think they both found over $7 worth of clad. Now that's a good day in the land of Nada right there. I'm not kidding you. That's what dreams are made out of. Okay. I gotta get right and get my gear in. Head to the cave. Stand by.